What is up everybody? I'm going to show you how to play Minecraft 1.8 LAN servers. So this basically works with any version. So yeah, let's get into it. Alright guys, so I have two computers here showing that I have two different computers on the same local network or Wi-Fi network if you were to say. Uh, they're both running Windows 8, but they will work on like Windows 7 or anything earlier. So let's get into the tutorial. Alright guys, let's get right into this. This is actually a very simple process. Just follow the steps what I do and you'll be playing LAN Minecraft local servers in no time with your family or whatever friends on the same network as you. So honestly this is so easy but I honestly haven't seen any other videos explain it like at least what I'm gonna do because I mean I've seen a bunch of videos but honestly to be honest with you guys I haven't seen one that works. So I had to try out a lot of different things and I finally got it working. So this will work for Minecraft. I'm running 1.8 but anything previous like 1.7 or before that will work and anything in the future will work but I'll, I'll let you guys know if something's not working but let's get right in, right into this you guys want to do on both computers or like the two computers you're playing the LAN servers with you want to do this so you go to your home screen you go to the search icon and you type in command oh sorry uh, I'm, I'm sorry control panel Okay, sorry about that. I screwed up my words a little bit. So anyways, so once you're here, you go to search control panel and go to, just type in the word firewall. And then it should be something that says Windows Firewall. So right below it, click on allow an app through Windows Firewall. Click that right there. Okay, so you should see something. You should be right here. Just say a lot of different, a bunch of different things. So, anyways, what we're doing here is we're basically allowing Java to run through Minecraft and all. So, you click on change settings. Then it allow allows you to mess with your settings and scroll down until you see this right here. It should say Java TM Platform SE Binary, something like that. So most of the time it'll automatically be checked to private I've already did this but check it to public so sometimes both could be checked so uncheck private but keep private checks and then make sure uh, where it says the name this column just uncheck that I don't think it really matters but just make sure you have public check then once you're done with that click this little button that says allow another app Okay, so basically we're allowing Minecraft to run through this, then go to Browse right here, and you're basically going to browse to wherever Minecraft is. For me personally, it is right here on my desktop, but maybe if it's in your downloads or something separate, then go for it. But just basically find where your Minecraft is, double click it, and press Add. And so, as you can see here, it's Minecraft is already in my list because I've already done this, but it'll say okay, maybe just say okay, and get out of that, and you're fine. So, you want to repeat that process on whatever other, whatever other um, computer you're trying to make this LAN with. So, let's say I'm playing with a computer, a desktop computer or something right next to me, and I want to do exactly what I did, what I just showed you. So if you want to see that again, just you can just replay it, repeat the steps, and also if it doesn't let you, or if Java doesn't show up, then that means you don't have Java installed, but you should, because if you're playing Minecraft, then you have to have Java installed. So just repeat those processes, and I guess just pause the video, and yeah, let's go into the next step. All right, guys. So. Once you did that, those Java steps that I showed you on both computers you want to play Minecraft LAN with, what you want to do is, for this next step, you want to decide which computer or which account, basically, you want the host to be on. So, that, there's really no difference, just basically who begins the whole LAN. So, for this step, I'm going to choose that computer to be the host of the Minecraft LAN server, but it honestly doesn't matter. 
Alright guys, so this next step, you only have to do this next step on the host's computer. You do not have to do this on whatever other computer you're doing LAN on. So to get started, let's first run Minecraft. Okay, and then I'm going to be using Minecraft version 1.8 but anything before that and in the future will work great for this. Alright, so now that we got Minecraft open, we want to create a new world in survival. And it does not matter what it's called or what game mode it is or whatever, just press create new world. Okay, so now that we have a single player survival world running, yes it's a little laggy for me, what you want to do is press escape and then go to open to LAN and all these things you don't have to put on these settings, they're optional, but press start LAN world. Okay, so now as you can see here in the bottom left hand corner it says local game hosted on port and then a number. You're going to need that number, so keep track of it and do not forget it. So I'm going to keep Minecraft open for this next step. Alright, so for Windows 8 users, you want to go to your start screen, press the search bar, and type these letters, CMD, just like that, and press enter. So this is basically called command prompt. Uh, it's a bunch of settings in your computer, that's why it's blurred out, this is personal information. But yes, for Windows 7, there still is a way to get there. So, once you have gotten into Command Prop, you want to type this word slash letters. It's called ipconfig, just like that. Then you want to press enter. Now, once you've done this, it will bring a bunch of different numbers and letters and a whole you know bunch of different things once you're here you want to find something called the IPv4 address so it should say like IPv4 and then dot 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 a bunch of dots and then a number it should like I don't know like 192.168. something 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 so um you have to keep track of that number as well, so do not forget that. Okay, so in a Word document, I am writing down that IPv4 address, so I will not forget this. This is optional. You don't even have to do it in a Word document or anything. I'm just kind of writing it down so I won't forget it later. And now, this is where this Minecraft port comes in handy. So after you type that IPv4 address, you want to put a colon, and then you want to type that port. Okay, so we got the steps needed to be done on this computer, now let's head over to the other one. Alright everybody, so I got all the steps set up on that computer, you know, got Minecraft running and I got the IP address and you know, I just basically got everything working. And now I'm going to go into that computer and open Minecraft and type in that address that we got here. Let's take a look. Okay everyone, so basically I opened Minecraft. And really quickly, before you press play, make sure you're in a different account as the other one you're on for two different people, and try to be in the same Minecraft version, and let's play this thing. Basically, once we have got Minecraft open, you go to multiplayer, and really quickly, at the bottom it says scanning for games on your local network. Basically, what that is, so basically all that is saying is it's basically scanning to see if there's any open games. And yes, there is. So a lot of times it should automatically pop up. But for some reason, it's not doing it on mine. So really quickly, if it does show something there, double click that and join. And you'll be playing in no time. But if it doesn't like me, go to direct connect and basically type in that IP address that we got all set up on the other computer. For me, 
It's... Okay guys, so basically this is the address that I got, that we got all set up on the other computer. Of course it's going to be different for you. Press join server and it's logging in and everything and look at that. You are good to go. Um, I don't, I have no idea where my, where the other dude is, but, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go try to find him, and then, yeah, I'll stop the video now, I'm gonna try to go find my friend. And would you look at that, we are playing LAN together, all happily. <laughs> so, as you can see right here, so this is Chum is Fum, say hello. Um, so anyways, <laughs> this is him. I can't see his skin because, well, for now, he doesn't have a skin. He's just a Steve. No, I'm kidding. He does have a skin, but it doesn't show up on my computer for now. But I don't know. It's weird. It should show up because it shows on the other computer. But yeah, that's basically it, guys. This is honestly very easy, and but a struggle that every bit everybody's been having lately. So it is how to play with your friends on a local network. And yeah, you can type whatever, you can spam, there's no rules. But uh, I made a bad, well, I made a mistake. Because when I was setting up this LAN server, I should have pressed the button that says allow cheats. Because normally you could do slash TP and then you could TP to someone, but I don't have permission, so I had to really go and find Chum is Fum. So it took a while, but you guys have fun with this. I really hoped I could help. And yeah, this is just a fun way, have a fun time with your friends, and if you did like this video, please uh, hit that like button and subscribe if you can. And oh, another quick note, if you would like to do this with more than one person, let's say you have a third computer that you could like go and play and stuff, <laughs> if you have a third computer that's on the same network and stuff, then it will still, of course, yeah, it's like you could do unlimited people so it will still work yes you just have to just remember you have to allow the Java like what we did in the beginning so it's pretty easy hope this helped out ah oh, no there's a zombie but yeah I hope I could help and yeah until next time